We're getting organized along with all of our wonderful volunteers that are helping to lead certain projects today. Right now we're preparing the fence line for a garden fence, which is gonna really help um, the garden grow this year. We're super excited. This area we've designated as our orchard in our long-term plan. We want to seed pretty quickly here and get a good cover crop growing. Uh, we'll plant a small number of trees this year to start with, make sure we know what we're doing. We get the soil really good, probably 10 trees or so, maybe a little more, most likely apples, and then and probably some, some shrubs around the edge, some currants and elderberries and things like that. So this crew has really just been clearing out brush and hard raking and getting the soil sort of roughed up so that it can accept seeds. No, we are wanting all these uh, posts to be pleasing to the eye as well as functional and so we are putting um, them all the same distance into the ground, so 7.6, 7 foot 6 inches above the ground, um, uniformly around the garden. This is a puncture vine seed, which we call goat heads, and they are everywhere and we're trying to get them out. I was just saying, it does my heart good to see all the people invested in this land for the people. I wish I had my own land. Until that happens, <laughs> then I come out here and work on public land. I love being outside and working with people and working in this really dynamic project and organization. And it's just very alive with um, lots of wonderful, wonderful people. So that's my favorite part about it. I just love days like this. You know, we do our committee and our the folks who are more intimately involved in this on the day to day do a, just a ton of work on all the nitty gritty details of things. But when I get to get out here and see the community come together and gather and be on this space and just have their tools and they're just ready to go. No one, you know, everyone's just doing something and there's a lot to do. It feels real and so it's just gonna get better and better. You know, next year we'll have people out here doing whatever the next project is that we're all excited about and it's gonna grow and be more and more exciting. Yeah, we're happy to see a lot of people working here. Uh, you know, it's a community and we're happy to work with everybody. That's, that's pretty good for us, especially the Guatemala community for everything we have to grow here and everybody is happy to, to work here now. Oh, I just want to break out in song. This land is your land, this land is my land. You know, it's a beautiful feeling. It's, the air is fresh and crisp and all these people showed up and you just hear the sound of sawing and cutting and pounding all over, you know, over the acres and it's just a beautiful thing. See everybody gathered together working for the common good of this community. So tell me how you got the experience for this kind of work. I had to go to PhD. I, you know. I had to go to college and then graduate school and I had to write my thesis on sticks. Yeah, 